Well, Kaveh Madani is the former deputy head of Iran's Department of Environment, currently a visiting professor at the Centre for Environmental Policy at Imperial College London. Joining us today via Skype from Toronto. It's good to have you on. Let, let's, let's start wide on and then, and then we'll, we'll, we'll focus in, um, in on Iran specifically. The recent IPCC report has been described by the UN Secretary General as code red for humanity. We started this week's programming on that report and it warns of more extreme droughts, heat waves and floods to come. How dire is the climate emergency for Iran and the wider region? Um, like anywhere else in the world, Iran uh, and the Middle, Middle East uh, would be suffering from um, from this climate emergency. Um, now, we are talking about a region which is water short naturally. The water budget is very limited. Um, political economy is dependent on water. Employment is dependent on water. Uh, farmers will lose job as a result of drought and 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 you know climate change. And then we we can expect tension, lack of food, and the, some of the problems you describe mm -hmm. or or the report described. So mm -hmm. so this is serious, mm -hmm. and and climate change is going to exacerbate the already um, dire problems of the Middle East. Iran has witnessed some massive water shortages that have led to deadly protests, of course, in recent weeks. And you said in a recent article, and I quote you here, this year's drought has come after two excessively wet years that filled up the reservoirs and gave life to the wetlands. But mismanagement of the water that was gained and a lack of preparedness for subsequent dry conditions caused drinking water and power outages, disruption to agricultural water allocations and vanishing wetlands, all, you say, of which affected livelihoods and triggered anger. Just talk more about that, if you will. Uh, you know, so we have some, some bad decisions, like, which are seasonal, like the ones, um, you know, which happened recently in Iran, Two really wet years came, and, and the managers thought that the problem has been solved. There would be no drought. Farmers thought the same way. Expansion, again, started expansion of agricultural land, growing more food and so on. And now we have a serious drought. And we are going back to the stage that we were in mm -hmm. three years ago. Mm -hmm. So it's just we're not learning from our failures. But the problems of today's Iran, when it comes to Iran's current water bankruptcy, is the result of decades of bad management in, in, in Iran. The same is true for so, some, some neighboring countries. We cannot blame all these problems on on climate change. Climate change is a serious threat, but the house was already on fire. Now we are adding fuel to it. So climate change is itself a, a, a byproduct or product a, a, of a sus unsustainable development. Um, the other right. problems are also products of, of unsustainable development. So we have heard the Supreme Leader and indeed the, uh, the new hardline president uh, talking about uh, climate change. You were exiled from Iran by, quote, hardliners who oppose your climate message. Um, this president and uh, uh, filling his cabinet with uh, people of his ilk. How concerned should Iranians be for the future of their environment under his leadership? Um, I don't think there would be any superman in Iran who can reverse the problems and reverse the, the damages overnight. And I don't think President Raisi would would you know do magical things and I, I don't think that if he he would have been replaced by a by a reformist president the the, the situation would have been changed economy if Iran of Iran is under pressure and it's in, in the resistance mode and in the resistance mode um, economies try to exhaust their natural resources uh, for survival to create jobs and and with that there would be pollution, no attention to the environmental matters. Environment would be marginalized, um, and and the situation will get worse and worse and worse. Even though we are receiving all these signals from the nature that the situation is bad, and we have to take immediate action. We're going to leave it there. We'll have you back, sir. Thank you very much indeed for joining us.